Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and having a super duper lovely day. So today I'm going to be doing a reading on Taemin, who is a member of K-pop group Shiny. Shiny? Sh I will say Shiny. I'm sorry guys. I hope I'm saying it right. Um, but yeah, as usual, I'm not going to divulge too much into his personal life out of respect for him and for whomever I do a reading about in the future. And this is going to be a general reading, reading off of his current energy. Also, I mentioned in my previous reading, well, I'm not sure which reading is going to go first, this one or the other one. But I mentioned um, that I'm going to try and make my videos a little bit shorter because I noticed that I've been making videos that are like way longer than 20 minutes um, and I don't want to bore you guys so I'm gonna try to cut as much of the shuffling as possible as well as keep it concise, um, short and straight to the point. But anyway, <laughs> without further ado, let's just get started. Guys, funny story, I had started talking <laughs> for a really long time and I didn't press record so wow. Okay, <laughs> but anyway, um, I just want to let you guys know that Taemin, um, he has such a beautiful energy and he is such a beautiful person. And I'm looking at his photo right now because that's how I channel energy. That's how I do my readings. I have a picture of them in front of me. And um, he is just, I don't know, it makes you feel like you want to protect them, you know, because... Um, he craves love, he loves love, and I'm not talking about romantic love, but just in general. And it was so funny as I was thinking that Four of Wands jumped out. Um, he really truly craves this familiar feeling of, 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 of a family. He wants a family, he wants to have um, those long lasting bonds. He's a very good person, he does not take his relationships for granted at all but i do see that like you know beneath all the glamour of his career of the k-pop industry and things like that what he wants are really simple things he wants to create a long lasting family kind of setting he wants to have strong relationship that's what makes him the happiest i do see that something's weighing in his mind right now there's a little bit of like just heaviness in terms of his mind. I feel like he hasn't been sleeping very well. But as a person, he's just such a ray of light. I just feel like he's so pure. He really needs to be protected. Um, but yeah, he's a very, very good person. He's a very, very... Um, he's a very good person and he's very honest. If When he gives you his love, he gives you his love. And this isn't, again, just about relationships, um, love relationships. He wants to create bonds. He doesn't take his relationships lightly. So he, if he makes a connection with you as a friend, he is serious about making sure that he gets to know you very well, that he's there for you, all these things. Like he's just a very good person. He believes in strong foundations in his relationships. And those are the most important things. Those are the pillars of his life, his relationships. Um, but yeah, let's see what's current. what else is currently going on in his life oops oops <laughs> love cards jumped out so let's see we have the five of cups in reverse hmm mm. okay so so i do feel like there's something that's currently weighing on his mind like i mentioned before with the nine of swords and to be honest with you guys um, I feel like there is, uh, without going too into the detail, I feel like he hasn't felt like himself lately. He is someone who's very, very talented. I can tell with the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands that his future is going to be set. He's always going to do well financially. He's going to be fine. But he has been questioning himself a little bit. He hasn't been feeling like a champion or he doesn't think that he has what it takes. There's just a lot, a lot of questioning about his ability and his his personality, who he is as a person. He's been questioning his character a lot. And I feel like these thoughts um, didn't really just pop up on its own. I feel like there's been someone in his life who has, you know, sometimes they're not really like a good um, 
they're not really a good influence for him. Um, they, like I mentioned, when he has relationships, friendships, things like that with people, he really gives it his all. He really believes in strong bonds and things like that. But in this particular case, this person just isn't a good influence on him. This person has ulterior motives. And I feel like this person has been kind of feeding toxicity in his life, feeding negativity, feeding um, negative thought patterns that have been making him question himself and his character. He is going to overcome it. I just feel like it's not going to go very fast. I feel like he's having a little bit of a crisis of confidence and identity. Um, but yeah, because, yeah, okay, here's the thing. The guys are telling me that, you know, things are going well. It's just in his mind right now. He's feeling like a lack of recognition or a lack of um opportunities that are coming his way yeah we have the ten of swords so there's he's not currently in the best place in terms of mentally just he's not in the best place he's not able to see things very clearly he's not able to cancel out um these thoughts that people are putting in his mind yeah because um, I do feel oh, like, sorry guys, I'm not going to talk about this too much because I feel like it's a lot of messages and I don't want to get into it. But I do feel like there's recurring themes. He's he's left these negative thought patterns before, but he's now back again. But the guides want me to know that it's a Ten of Swords. Um, this is currently a very low phase in his life he is going to get better because this is rock bottom in terms of just where he, his mind is currently but i'm going to um yeah i'm going to just like um move on from this and see what blessings are coming into his life in 2021 what blessings are coming into tiny's life in 2021 yeah He's going to do a lot of growing. This year is going to be about working on himself. I feel like sometimes, like I mentioned to you guys before, he has, he's questioning his character, he's questioning his ability, he's not feeling like he's deserving of a lot of love. He gives love so easily, but at the same time, he doesn't receive love very easily. That's something that he's going to be working on this year. He needs to see beyond the current situation. I feel like right now he's got... Um, he doesn't have 2020 vision. He's just seeing what's in front of him and his vision is clouded by a lot of the things that one, this person has been feeding him, but also a little bit of what his anxiety has been telling him. So um, this year is really about working on himself. It's about letting himself be loved, realizing just how amazing he is as a person and growing within his current situation. He's going to gain a lot of wisdom. He's going to get better. And I think that's a really, really important message. Sorry, guys, I'm just going to grab a particular oracle because I just want to see. Okay, guys, so I just want to quickly see what blessings are coming into Taman's life in 2021. Other than growing within himself, um, external blessings, things that are coming his way. He's such a good person. What blessings are coming his way in 2021? Okay, so his guys are like, I already told you. I already told you what blessings are coming in 2021. Why are you pushing it? I'm sorry. I just wanted to see external. But they're basically saying, again, he is going to really work on himself. He's going to love and let himself be loved. He's going to trust himself. He's going to listen to his intuition. It's a lot of working on himself, but also revealing his radiance, revealing his magic. He's going to unleash a lot of who he is on the inside and let people see it, blind people with it, because he is really someone who is very, very special, and he is going to gain a lot of wisdom and insight and be able to see further because I feel like right now he's just blinded. He's just, there's just a lot of things that are blocking his energy. Um, but yeah, let's just move on. But at least we know that in 2021, he's going to finally let himself be loved. <laughs> he's finally going to believe in himself more, gain the confidence that he needs and things like that. Because I do see that he's a really good person. I'm just going to move on. From this topic but let's see in terms of um career and love hmm. 
few cards jumped out. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> there is someone that he's interested in, um, but he's got so many competitors. He's got so many rivals. Um, <laughs> And he's, it's almost like he's having to really fight them off. He's like, come on now, come on. Like, um, but yeah, there is someone that he's interested with. This person is a very good person. This person makes him feel happy, makes him feel loved. But there's other people who are interested in this person too. So he's got a bit of a competition. It's someone that he's he knows through work or through his industry. Um, they're in the same industry. Let's find out a little bit more about this person. Who is the Queen of Cups? Let's just let us know a little bit more about this person. Okay. They, they make him see things from a different perspective. They have a very unique point of view, as I mentioned before. Oh my goodness. So, as I mentioned before, there's currently a blockage in Taman's heart chakra. Um, he's feeling uh, a little bit difficult for him to gain confidence or let himself be loved or see himself for who he truly is. And this person has a way of opening his eyes and making make him see from a different perspective. They make him stop. So it's really widening his point of view. It's... Um, this person has a way of making him feel safer, you know, making him feel better. Yeah, because I do see that in the past, he hasn't had the best of luck in terms of relationships. Um, he has given his heart. Yeah, he has given his heart to someone in the past. And this person, um, I feel like, was very cold, didn't make him feel good about himself. I feel like the love wasn't really reciprocated. Um, sorry, guys. I feel really, really bad for him because I do feel, like I mentioned before, he really, really craves a serious relationship. He craves family. He craves stability and all those things. And... Um, I'm glad. I'm glad that he's now going for this person right here who is so warm and so kind-hearted and is able to see himself, uh, to make her, himself see um, who he truly is. Sorry, my words are getting tangled up. It's because this person right here did a number on him. They made him feel like he wasn't, he's not deserving of love. It made him question himself. I feel like because of this person, he was out of the love game for quite a while. He needed to recuperate. He needed to rest. He needed to take time out and take himself out of the love game. Yeah. And I feel like they had a lot to contribute in the situation right here where he feels like he has no love to give and there's no love that he can be received from him. But okay, enough about this person. Let's find out a little bit more about the Queen of Cups. Tell us more about the Queen of Cups. Oops. No? Okay, let's grab Oracle. Tell us a little bit more about the Queen of Cups. That was fast. <laughs> so the Queen of Cups is someone who is very open and is helping him communicate freely, something that he is having troubles with, especially with the Two of Swords in reverse, like I saw earlier. Um, there's someone who is very creative, very creative. I feel like the two of them can talk about anything and everything. There's just this, like, I feel like their relationship is... Um, one that is rooted in friendship too because i feel like once they talk they just cannot stop talking they just chat about everything under the sun they talk about magic they talk about music they talk about art they talk about planets and and astronomy and life outside of this world stars everything and when he sees this person it makes him believe in magic again it makes him uh, see things the way they used to anymore because they're just so inspiring to him so this is so amazing let's find out a little bit about their relationship 
So this ha hasn't happened yet, but it is going to come into his life soon. Oops, no. So yes, it's going to happen in spring. Um, spring is very, very soon. So I feel like it's blossoming right now, their relationship. Um, but yeah, the seeds are already there <laughs> to this relationship. The seeds are already there, but it's really going to blossom in spring. It's just that he's got a little bit of a competition, but he shouldn't really worried, be worried about it. And yes, she is going to bring a lot of stability. Oh, one second. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Ha! <laughs> it's difficult. It's difficult because I feel like there's a lot of people that are interested in him. There's a lot of different people that are interested in her. There's always people watching. Sorry, we have a lot of cards that jumped out. Yeah, it's 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 a little bit difficult because I feel like this relationship is under a lot of scrutiny because we have here with the King of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Cups. A lot of people are interested in both him and in her. So there's just a lot of like outside forces that are trying to get in the way. So the relationship is going to work. And a lot of people, like I mentioned before, are watching this relationship. I feel like a lot of people are invested in this relationship. Um, but yeah, it's going to be okay. They, it's, it is going to blossom. We have the Nine of Pentacles. This relationship is going to blossom. It's just that with the Nine of Wands, it's equally difficult. Um, it is going to be a little bit of a struggle. It's not going as fast. It's not going to go as fast as he would like. It is still going to be okay. Um, but yeah, it's not going to go as fast as he would like. That's the message that I'm getting. Um, but yeah, let's see if there's any other messages because I feel like there's already a lot and this reading has been a little bit intense, but... Are there any other messages that you guys have for Taman for 2021? Mm -hmm. He just needs to believe in himself. Everything he needs is already within him. He just really, really, really needs to believe in himself. And that's when things are going to move fast. Yes, because there's so much strength within him, gentleness within him. You guys, I really like him. His energy is just so, and he's such a kind-hearted person. I just wish that someone could give him a hug and shake him and tell him, you are so absolutely amazing and you are talented and you are strong and there is just so much within you. All he needs is to believe in himself. And once he believes in himself and starts listening to himself instead of other people, things are going to start moving very, very quickly. There's a lot of things um, that are going to happen, a lot of things that he wants that will start moving quickly once he believes in himself. Because he is someone who is very strong. He needs to get that confidence back. He needs to remember what a lion he is. Um, I'm going to stop the reading right here, you guys. It's been chock full of a lot of heavy messages, um, big messages, but all in all, I think what's most important to remember is that he's a very good person. There's a lot of blessings waiting for him and there's love waiting for him. Um, I just feel like right now he needs to work on himself too. And that's something that's very important. Um, but yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this reading, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.